My name is Evie. I think like most of you know my name. Can I start? Yeah. Okay. So the article is the main focus of the article is to identification of the mutation that associated with um, hairy phenotype in dogs. And they found that like foxy trees is the responsible genes. Uh, the article published in Science and in 2008. So before going to the article, I'll talk briefly about ectodermal dysplasia. It's a in inherited disorder. It inherited genetic disorders affecting the development and function of hair, teeth, uh, nails, adrenal glands. Uh, why we care about this? So because it happened in human too, and it's. It's not a single disorder, but instead a complex uh, group of variety, different genetic disorders. Uh, up to today, I think they found like 192 different disorders, and that makes this disorder very difficult to target. So it is, to tackle this problem, it's important to like, understand the molecular mechanism and causative genetics behind these. So in these articles, they look at ectodermal dysplasia in dogs. So it's called the like canin ectodermal dysplasia. And the goal of the article is to identify a causative uh, genetic mutation that linked to canin ectodermal dysplasia. And they hope that this knowledge or this understanding can help get insight into the development of ectodermal appendages. So, in order to achieve the goal, they starting with um, the single sing, single SNP uh, whole genome association analysis in uh, Chinese breasted dog. So they had the mutant dog and the white tie dog, and they want to see the difference between the two geno uh, two genomes. Parallel to this study, they also did uh, genome wide association mapping. So they look at available genetic data online and again try to find the SNP that is responsible for a hairy phenotype in dogs. Then, and then the next step is to look closer to the mutation using the fine mapping. And then after I, they identify the genetic gene, the, the gene or the protein responsible for this, they want to check the expression in embryo. So what did they found? So like both single SNP, um, whole genome association and Y genome association mapping uh, identif identif ident identify one SNP on chromosome 17 that have strong association with hairy phenotype. And then with five mapping, they found uh, a duplicate in the foxy gene that's responsible for this mutant. So then it did a closer look at the mutation in the fox, foxy gene, foxy tree gene. So the hairless of the mutant dog, we see a duplication of the seven base pair, which we don't see in the white type. So the next step, they want to check the expression of this protein in the embryo and the human male embryos. Um, and we, we see that uh, foxy gene were expressed in the development of uh, incisor and molars, both, both in lower jaw and also in whisker blade skulls. And this photo was taken at embryo, embryo, embryonic day. 13.5, and we also see the expression of the gene, so the dark spot and the protein expression. And we also see in the primary hair play post at um, E14.5. And this result showed that the protein involved in development state, and we can use this um, as a potential target for developmental uh, related biology or disorders. So in conclusion, 
They clearly show like Foxy tree strongly associated with Haley phenotype in dog, and it could be a downstream target of the ectodysplasia signaling pathway. Using this knowledge, um, we can see how diverse morphology or like extreme morphology diversity of dog can be harnessed to gain insight in developmental biology. Again, the better we understand the disorder, the bigger chance we have to attack the knowledge or the disorder. Thank you.